Even though he's still new to the NFL, Josh Jacobs has already made a name for himself. We'll dive deep into his early life struggles, his total net worth, and more. Joshua Jacobs was born to Marty and Lachelle Jacobs on February 11, 1998 in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Jacobs is the fourth of four kids. Isaiah Jacobs, Joshua's younger brother, is also a running back and plays for the Maryland Terrapins. Jacobs was raised in a two-parent household in Oklahoma until the age of eight. In 2006, Marty and Lachelle started to drift apart and eventually got divorced. When this happened, young Josh wanted to stay with his father, who had a job at several local warehouses, taking care of the shipping and receiving. But Marty told Josh and his other kids to stay with their mother as they fought for custody. Josh obeyed his father's orders, but he didn't enjoy living with his mom at all as he argued with her all the time. Josh accused Lachelle of spending the child support money Marty gave her. My dad would give her a lot of money, Jacobs once said. She would go out and waste it and we'd end up having Salvation Army food. I used to ask her why she would go and spend that money and not go buy food for us to eat. She didn't appreciate how I stood up to her, so she kicked me out of the house. Jacobs believed he was going to be in a better situation with Marty, but his dad had issues of his own. A few days after Josh started living at his father's house, Marty was in the middle of downsizing to an apartment while helping Lachelle pay her bills. Unfortunately, Marty and Josh ended up scrambling for a place to stay after the apartment Marty lined up didn't work out. They found a place in Marty's Suburban, which he usually drove around Tulsa until they could find a place he felt safe parking for the night. This became their daily routine for many weeks once they stopped staying with friends. Josh would lay in the back seat at night behind his father as Marty sat in the driver's seat. I remember watching him not sleep, Josh stated. It's wicked because I didn't realize that I was sleeping in a car. I was literally just falling asleep and waking up. I didn't think about our conditions because I felt comfortable. My dad would just drive around until he found a place to stay and then I'd wake up the next day and go to school. Jacobs went to McLean High School in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where he adopted his passion for football. After that, he played football in college for the University of Alabama. From 2016 to 2018, Jacobs was a member of the Alabama Crimson Tide football team. During his freshman year at Alabama in 2016, Josh shared time with Damian Harris and Bo Scarborough, rushing 85 times for 567 yards and four touchdowns. In his sophomore year, Josh recorded 284 yards on 46 carries and one touchdown. Crazy enough, after this season ended, it was revealed that Jacobs had been playing on a broken ankle for most of the year. As a junior, he was recognized as the MVP of the 2018 SEC Championship game against the Georgia Bulldogs after rushing for 83 yards and two touchdowns. Due to his impressive skills, Jacobs was selected in the first round of the 2019 NFL Draft by the Oakland Raiders, who later became the Las Vegas Raiders. I never was one of those players who had the dream of playing in the NFL, Jacobs once told the media. I was just glad because I was the first one to ever go to college in my family. Once I got to that level, I just wanted to keep improving my game. And when I blew up as I did, I was like, wow, now I can play on the biggest stage ever. It's wild to think about everything that's happened since. And it's absolutely humbling to reminisce about how I got here. On September 10th, 2019, Josh made his NFL debut facing the Denver Broncos in week one. But as he grows in popularity, fans begin to wonder about his personal life, like who he's dating, for example. The NFL star has apparently been dating Joy Gentry since 2016. There's not too much about Josh's love life because he prefers to keep it a secret. For this reason, the player doesn't share any information about his partner, nor does he post pictures with any girls on his social media. However, not even Jacobs was able to escape the rumors and gossip from the fans. The running back was recently rumored to be having an affair with Alexandra Bombshell, an Instagram model. Apparently, Alexandra spent quality time in Josh's Vegas house, which was revealed on social media. However, none of these rumors were officially confirmed or denied. Other rumors surrounding Jacob's name feature how much he makes from his career. So let's take a look at the official numbers. On July 9th, 2019, Jacob signed a four-year deal worth $11 million with the Las Vegas Raiders. This deal featured a $6 million signing bonus, $11.9 million in guaranteed money, and $2.9 million in average annual salary. During 2020, Jacobs was paid $1 million on a base salary of another million, 
with a cap hit of $2.7 million and a dead cap value of $9.7 million. However, Josh's base salary for the 2021 season was $495,000. As for the 2022 season, Jacobs earned a base salary of $2.1 million while having a cap hit of $3.6 million and a dead cap value of $3.7 million. Josh's salary is $1.5 million and features $1.6 million as a signing bonus. As of 2022, the player's net worth is a total of $8 million. However, the talented running back doesn't let his net worth rely just on his contract money. He also took advantage of his fame and popularity to land big endorsement deals. The NFL star has a brand collaboration with famous sportswear brand Nike, as well as Korean automobile company Kia. Now that you know almost everything about Josh Jacobs, here are a few facts you might find interesting. Jacobs completed his junior year with the Crimson Tide with only 252 career touches of the football. While that mild lack of carries and catches could be thought of as a sign of inexperience, it also could work in his favor as teams could see him as having fresher legs than some of the other players at his position. If Josh's versatile skill set didn't make him the top running back picks in the 2019 draft, his relative lack of miles on the engine might have done the trick instead. Since former Oakland Raiders running back Marshawn Lynch made his retirement public, the door was open for Oakland to potentially take a running back with one of their three picks in last year's draft. Jacobs talked about this with Yahoo Sports, addressing the possibility of being picked by the Raiders at number 24 or number 27 overall and had a lot of positive things to say, like being pumped about the chance to play with Oakland quarterback Derek Carr and wide receiver Antonio Brown at the time. Jacobs also said he admired Lynch's style of play. Around the same time that Jacobs got to Alabama, his son Braxton was born. Jacobs has talked about how he runs not only because he loves the sport, but for his son to make sure that Braxton has a better childhood than he did. Jacobs is grateful to his father Marty as being his main source of inspiration. Jacobs always talks about how his father often sacrificed eating and sleeping so he and his siblings could grow up healthy and strong. According to the running back, he navigated his three years with the Crimson Tide with head coach Nick Saban without ever experiencing any of Saban's wrath in practice. Jacobs said that he would instead have lighter conversations which sometimes featured jokes with the coach. Despite the jovial rapport with Saban, Jacobs actually says that he prefers coaches who use a more firm approach with him. He has a Players' Tribune article that is worth reading. Before the draft, Jacobs had his piece, People Say I Run Angry, published by the Players' Tribune, and it offers a peek into what he experienced as a child. These are just a few of the things for you to know about the Raiders' newest running back, but Jacobs is a humble guy that's fired up for his opportunity in the silver and black. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll probably like his teammate Devontae Adams' lifestyle video. Now, do you think Jacobs is the top running back in the NFL? Drop your thoughts in the comments section below. Be sure to subscribe and thanks for watching.